for hundreds of thousands of Florida homeowners. A Category 5 problem brewing for years is now taking aim at their sense of security as insurance companies decline future coverage or leave the state altogether. In the last 18 months, 15 insurers have stopped writing new policies. Three have voluntarily withdrawn from the market, and seven companies have been declared insolvent. The latest blow from AAA Insurance, which says it did not renew a very small percentage of higher exposure homeowners policies to ensure the company could support the large majority of our policyholders this hurricane season. Completely out of the blue, I was surprised. Some homeowners deemed high risk, like Walter Haller, received a short letter after seeing premiums rise for years. And I wouldn't mind it going up again in that, but no, they just canceled me outright. AAA giving Haller just one reason for being dropped. Because of exposure management, they call it. Industry insiders say increased hurricane risk, rising reinsurance rates, and a flood of lawsuits in Florida are forcing insurance providers out. In fact, Florida International University finance professor Shahid Hamid found insurance companies in the state have recently sustained more than a billion dollars in net underwriting losses and say they haven't been profitable since 2016, all leading to less competition and more expenses for homeowners. Natural disasters have wreaked havoc on insurance markets in other parts of the country, too particularly in states like California, where wildfires led some companies to pull back on writing policies. And Colorado, with premiums jumping more than 50 percent over a three-year period. In Florida, there's a backstop. The state-run Citizens Property Insurance, which offers similar rates to private insurers, but at least guarantees coverage. Anastasia Shellhouse had to scramble to secure Citizens Insurance after her policy was pulled. I cannot take it anymore. She says the pressure is overwhelming. It's pushing people out of being able to afford to purchase their own homes. I know someone that almost foreclosed and they were forced to sell because their taxes and insurance went up so high. It's not realistic to continue. Vicki, is there anything you can do? Is there any recourse if suddenly your insurer says, we don't want to insure you anymore? Yeah, these folks are in a really tough spot, right? In most cases, you can't appeal. The insurance companies tell us often they do try to suggest alternative companies for you. Here's the thing. It doesn't happen overnight, right? You have 30 to 60 days to find a new insurance policy once that one runs out. The other thing you might want to consider as a homeowner is retrofitting your home. In California, for example, it's installing things like sprinklers, fire mitigation mm -hmm. um, devices that can help actually lower your premium hmm. and make you more desirable for insurance companies. In Florida, it's getting something like impact windows, which uh, protect you from hurricanes. But all of this, it, it's really coming to a head because these natural disasters keep coming. They're more exactly. extreme and they're more mm -hmm. expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Vicki, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.